All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal in a Center Road. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your general love reading. Um, today is also Boxing Day, so of course I do have a Boxing Day special on readings. It is going to be $20 off all of the readings. Um, okay, so the coupon code will be in the description box down below and also on the video. Okay, so if you guys are interested, um, the link to sign up for reading is down below as well. Okay, so let's take a look and see past energy, you and this person on your mind. You and this person on your mind. Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of emotional unavailability in the past. Also, um, someone here within this connection wasn't really opening up, okay? Wasn't really expressing themselves. There very well could have been feelings here, but someone wasn't telling the other person how they were feeling. Just not opening up, okay? I'm, I am feeling a strong sense of emotional unavailability. Why is this here? Yeah, there was emotion. Okay, we have counterparts here as well. Um, some of you could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or your person could be. I don't know why lately I've been calling out signs. I never do that. Lately it's been coming up a lot. But I am seeing, so we do have counterparts. We have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. But this is just indicating that, yes, in fact, there were emotions. So if your person wasn't opening up to you in the past, it wasn't because they didn't care. They were just choosing to not open up or they were just emotionally unavailable. But the, the emotions were there. Now, it could be roles reversed. This could be you. Okay. Let's take a look and see. But I'm going to read it how I'm seeing it. So I'm going to read it as that storyline, as this is your person who had emotions for you but didn't open up. You could have been the person who expressed more of your emotions. Now, if this is reversed, then you can you can switch the roles, but I'm going to say it based on storyline. Because I don't really like going back and forth as like, oh, it could be this, it could be that. I try to give, a, like, I like to give a clear storyline, okay? So their current energy towards you, what is their current energy towards you guys? Okay, they're very silent right now. They're not saying too much, okay? This person could be going through a healing process right now as well. Yeah, I'm hearing that some of them might be healing for some, from something from their past, possibly. Um, but I see that this person is very quiet. They're not saying too much. You could even be actually in a separation with this person, or there could be very limited communication. Okay, what's your energy towards them? Okay, you're feeling very emotionally unfulfilled, which makes sense because if you have someone who's not giving to you emotionally, of course it's going to make you feel emotionally unfulfilled, okay? Some of you had some high expectations of this connection with the Ten of Cups coming through that weren't really fulfilled, um, but overall you're feeling very emotionally unfulfilled with this connection right now, but I feel like this is because you might have given a lot more emotionally to this person or you... Um, are just more free when it comes to your emotions than they are. But I do think you guys would probably make a good pair with this King of Cups, Queen of Cups. So let's see, why is this all happening? Why is this all happening? You guys do, okay, both of you want a new beginning. So regardless of what has happened, it's telling you that both of you want a new beginning. Both of you want a fresh start with each other. Um, with the full in reverse, so you could be wanting to kind of hit the reset button on have, and have a fresh start with this person. And they also want that with you, because this is the connecting energy. Okay, how do they see you right now? Oh, they think you're kind of sneaky. Seven of Swords. They think you're kind of sneaky. Why is this here? Seven of Swords. Why are they seeing you with this? The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Some of them, hold on. Knight of Wands. Okay. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Now, keep in mind, this is their perspective. So you guys might think, I don't, I'm not this way, or how did I, how do they think that? I didn't give that impression. The impression that this person has of you, they think that you're kind of a player, or that you're kind of someone who maybe wasn't investing fully in this, or they thought that maybe you weren't fully investing, that maybe you were playing the field. They could have possibly thought that you were talking to multiple people, or you were just, there was something about you that was a little bit sneaky. And you guys, maybe that wasn't your intention, but something about you, maybe something you did or something you said, it could be that this person is projecting some of their old stuff onto you, but they definitely, how they see you is someone who's a little bit sneaky and kind of like a player, to be honest. Someone who maybe plays the field, they think that maybe you were trying to play them or that you did play them. They feel like you weren't fully invested in this. And that could be why maybe they weren't fully investing in this. 
So I don't know if you guys are playing some sort of mind games and they just got the impression that maybe you were just not fully invested in this and so they didn't really open up to you. Now how do you see them? How do you see them? As unfair, justice in reverse. So you see this person as um, maybe they treated you unfairly or they're not seeing your point of view. So you could feel like this person is very one-sided as well or maybe they're just thinking about themselves or they just only see things from their perspective and their point of view. You might feel like this person doesn't like take the time to see how you might be thinking or how you might be feeling. They might be quick to make assumptions as well. Um, okay, so where is this heading? Where is this connection heading spirit? We have the hanged man in reverse. So it's going to be on pause for a little bit is what's telling me. Or there's not going to be a whole lot moving between the two of you. Let's see. Why is the hanged man here? Yeah, the temp yeah, I don't see much happening. There's not much give and take over the next few weeks. Six of pentacles in reverse with a ten of wands in reverse. Um, I do feel like this is going to weigh on you guys. If you don't talk for a while or if you guys don't reach out to each other or if there's a stagnation, I don't think it's going to be easy for either one of you. I think this is going to be something that's going to weigh on you guys. If you're both deliberately holding back from each other, I think this is going to be difficult for both of you guys to do over the next few weeks. Like It's not going to be like, oh, I just forget about this person. It's actually going to genuinely weigh on both of you. Let's see. So what do we have here for connecting energy? Okay, tell me more about this connection for those who this is resonating with. Okay, we have Healer of the Ages in reverse. We have the Magician and we have the Attachment in reverse. Okay, so actually not too bad. Um, I do think you and this person have this very fiery energy towards each other. It's like you're very similar, but you're also very different. I do think both of you guys have manifested this connection together. So whether it was consciously or subconsciously, you both have manifested each other into this experience. And I feel like the reason why you guys manifested each other is because you are still needing to heal something. With the healer of the ages in reverse, both of you came into this connection having baggage both of you came into this connection not having healed um attachment issues okay so the specific thing that you guys haven't healed is your attachment issues now what i'm liking about this energy is we have the attachment in reverse so i do feel like this is something that's going to be healed or possibly this connection is kind of like a catalyst for you guys to heal any attachment issues that you might have um, but it's like you guys both were drawn to each other because you still have this like core um, wound that was similar that needed to be healed. Yeah, with the hermit. So if you're taking time, um, if you're not talking to this person or if it's very quiet, I would say that it's necessary to take this time to heal. I do think your person is trying to heal as well because the four of swords here. Um, so there is a healing energy coming through. Yeah, I even see the three of swords in reverse, which is a card of coming out of grief, um, releasing deep emotions, letting go of painful experience, past experiences, and healing. For some of you guys, this is going to be childhood related with the Page of Pentacles coming through in reverse. So this could be something that you've been holding on to for a very long time that you're now being called to let go of. And this connection is sort of a catalyst for your growth and your healing, okay? Um, really, everyone that we meet should be a catalyst in that sense, but it's usually the romantic connections that bring out the deepest wounds, and both of you have some attachment wounds that you're needing to heal, okay? Yeah, so this is also about trust. So you might notice that you and, you and your person both have similar trust issues because I feel like for some reason, and I don't know if you are sneaky or if you are playing the field, but specifically for those of you who aren't, for specifically for those of you who know that you're not sneaky or you're not a player or you weren't playing this person, the fact that they think that you are could be because of their trust issues, okay? And this is stemming from their unhealed attachment wounds, but this is something that both of you guys are sort of, are sort of mirroring to each other. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so we just have the 
divine timing card fall out here. So this could be a connection that um, is possibly meant to be, but it's just going to happen on divine timing because I do see that there's going to be kind of a spiritual pause between the two of you. Yeah, we do have the commitment card. So this is a connection that could lead to something committed here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Even at the bottom of the deck, we have the devotion card. And I'm telling you guys, I don't know why this is coming out, but lately, like, have you guys noticed that in the general readings, there's been so much about commitment? The last two readings I did, we had, we follow, we, we follow, there, or the ending of the reading was commitment and commitment. And here we go again. I just feel like with this person, so if this reading is resonating with you, this connection is being a little bit delayed. So I see the potential for a commitment in the future with this person, um, but it's going to happen on divine timing. And I feel like the reason why is because um, there's still more healing needed for this group. Okay, so let's get a message. So what's your person's message for you? Okay, so what's their message for you? Yeah, I miss you. And that's what I was saying. If, if your person doesn't reach out to you in the near future, or if you notice that there's kind of a silence between the two of you, trust me when I say that it's affecting them. Okay, it is affecting them. And I think it's going to affect you too. I think both of you in the near future are going to hold back from each other, but it's going to feel heavy. Okay, and the reason why it's going to feel heavy is because both of you are probably going to feel this pull or this draw to come back towards each other, but you both might realize that you need to heal something first before you come back into this connection. Um, wow, yeah, this person's cried over you. Okay, so you have had a deep impact on them. And then we also have here, I see signs of you everywhere I go. Okay, so this person is getting a lot of reminders of you, and they do miss you. Okay, um, let's see. Let's grab advice from Spirit here. So Spirit, for those who are watching, what is the advice? What is the advice for my viewers who are watching this reading today? For those who are resonating with this? What is the advice for them? Yeah, see you guys, this is your soulmate. This is so cute. Okay, so um, I'm actually going to read the book on this one, but definitely you have a spiritual connection. So if you were wondering, like, okay, this person seems to be someone I can't really um, let go of, or there's something, you might feel something deeper with this person, and it's because they are a soulmate. They are coming into your life for a reason. Okay, definitely to heal. I feel like you guys both are healing similar issues. Okay. An important relationship brings you to your knees. This is the kind of soulmate who comes with a powerful gift. Your patterns and all your old stories that don't serve your well-being enter into this dynamic so you can heal them. Yep, exactly, guys. There's so much healing. I love this. So this is exactly what I was saying to you, okay? Go back and rewind the video because I was saying this person has come into your life because there's something that both of you still need to heal. So this has happened. This is divinely guided. I feel like both of you guys, whether it was consciously or subconsciously, manifested each other in because you have similar wounds that you need to heal. Um, so this person is called to a sacred task to help you learn, even if it seems uncomfortable, sticky, or even inconceivable. The question is not, why did he or she do this to me? But rather, what is the gift in this? Look in the mirror, you will only be changed for the better. So the advice for you guys is to not look at how this person has hurt you. And their advice is to not look at how you have hurt them because obviously they have cried over you as well. You're being called to ask, what am I learning? What is this person mirroring back to me? And based on what they're mirroring back, how can I heal on a deeper level? And because we are getting that, we have the, we do have attachment. Sorry guys, I just have my phone connected to the... Um, Speaker. But because we do have this attachment thing coming through here, this card, it's indicating that what both of you are needing to heal is any attachment issues, okay? And for some of you, this is going to be related to trust. So these attachment issues could be um, manifesting as trust issues. And if you come into a relationship, whether it's new or old, with trust issues, 
it's going to be very difficult to build it on a very steady foundation. It's going to be nearly impossible to. So I feel like both of you guys have come together with similar issues, similar core wounds, um, but this person was brought into your life for a reason. So if you feel that very strong connection with them, it's because they were meant to come into your experience to show you something, to help you heal. Um, and what's beautiful about this, because sometimes soulmates come into our lives, but they don't stay. I feel like this is someone who in divine timing, you could have a possible commitment with it. That's something that you're wanting. You know, these are always just possibilities. It doesn't mean you have to commit to these, these people that you're inquiring about, but th there's a possibility in the future to have something committed with this person if that's what you're wanting. Okay. Um, so that's what I have for you. So I do really hope that this reading was helpful. If you guys want to book a personal reading, like I said, I do, I'm offering today for Boxing Day, $20 off any of the readings. Um, so if you've never booked a personal reading with me, um, now would be a great time to do it, but it's totally up to you guys. I'm going to leave the uh, coupon code in the description box down below. All right. But I'm sending you absolute love and light and I wish you all of the best on your journey. Take care.